right. I think we're going live. I think we're live. <laughs> All right. See who we can get to join us here before I start. I'm looking on my at my iPad here. Okay, there we go. All right. Hi, Mama. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. We're in the wreath shop. Um, I've set up my um, table here with the with the wreath here for you. So um, I wanted to wait and see if we can get some more people to join us real quick before I start. Uh, I got this bright light above me now. Uh, my sweet husband installed this bright light so you all could see. Um, I've started on the bee wreath. So here's the bee wreath <laughs> started. Uh, with a cute, cute bee ribbon. Let me show you this ribbon up close here. So you can see the bee ribbon. It's a, um, like a burlap type ribbon. And, um, the, these types of ribbons are, um, wire. So I can bend it. I can bend it any way and it'll stay that way. So I'm excited about that. Um, I've also got um, the giant polka dot ribbon that you can see here. We've got the giant polka dot ribbon. And then I added one more ribbon. I found some ribbon I had. And this ribbon is the regular, just regular burlap. So this is like just a regular burlap ribbon that I'm going to use on it. And um, I'm a huge fan of burlap. I love burlap. I don't know about anybody else. I think my mom would rather have uh, something that's more um, bright and fun, and and she's not a huge fan of burlap, but I am. I like it. So um, I just wanted to chat a little bit before we get started and uh, see who else uh, will join us tonight. Uh, I'm glad you all tuned in to join us. And... Um, I'm going to set my iPad back here. I got my iPad set up here so I can see your comments. Um, so anytime you want to chime in and have comments, um, I will try to answer the questions if you have any questions. Um, so we'll get started here in just a minute. Oh, sorry. And we will start on the bee wreath. I mean, I've been excited about this bee wreath. It is so cute. It's turning out cute. So we'll wait a maybe one more minute before we get started. I'll do some free advertisement here <laughs> on this cup. This is my cup. It says Rhonda on it, and it sparkles and shimmers and glitters, and I love it. And I keep water in this thing all day long and it does great so if you ever want a cup from miss amy she makes these wonderful cups and they will um keep your drinks cold keep your uh coffee hot drinks keep those things hot and uh, it is a great cup to have so i get thirsty sometimes when i'm working and i also have a fan that i keep on I keep a fan running in here because I get hot working. And um, so let me come around here real quick and say hi to everybody. So what's everybody doing tonight besides watching me? <laughs> oh, we've been, uh, I've been super busy today. We've, I've had all kinds of orders come in and I've been working on all kinds of projects. And uh, so I wanted to let everybody know that, um, while I'm working, while I'm showing you things, uh, you can uh, share the video. So if you want to share the video, it'll show up on your timeline and then you can go back to it um, later on and you can um, watch the video again and it'll be on your timeline. So if you want to do, do that, uh, just push the share button. I think it's at the bottom of your screen. Um, there's a share button and you can share our videos and let us go out to your friends and if they're not um, if they're not followers of Lady J's creation station then they can join in and, and get in on the fun 
So, hi, Karen. Hi, Amy. Hi, Debbie. We'll see who else is joining us real quick. So we got a few people on here and uh, we'll get started. So I've already started on this bee wreath um, and it has turned out so cute. Um, I've already done the inside. There's like an inside section. I've already done that. And I'm gonna work with you guys. I'm gonna show you how I do the, um, the outside. So there's a few spots that's empty on the outside as you can see here. A few spots are empty. So I'm gonna start on that. Um, can you believe it before I've even got this wreath done? Um, hi Vanessa. Before I've even got this wreath done, uh, somebody's already purchased this. So this wreath is going to somebody and um, to a customer. And so you all get to see how I make it. And if you, um, if you like this wreath and want to order one, I will definitely be able to make you one just like it. Make it just as beautiful. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I took my my um, my rolls here of deco mesh, and I usually um, I usually cut them 10 inches. And with this one, I decided to cut it 20 inches. I did it double length, and it makes it appear fuller, um, a little bit more ruffly. And so, um, what I do is um, I don't know if you can tell here, but on the on the outside. Um, I do three layers of the deco mesh. I do the black, the brown, and the yellow. So on the next one, when I go to the next uh, tie here, um, I do um, the opposite. So I'll start with the bottom with the yellow, and then I'll do the black, and then I'll do the brown. So I go back and forth like that on there. And uh, I know, isn't that great, that somebody's already decided that they want this wreath before I even make it. She actually said, um, she said, I know it's gonna be great and I just, I want it. <laughs> I said, okay. <laughs> so um, when I take my deco mesh here, um, this is kind of like a burlap texture. And um, when, I, when I take this, um, I do a ruffle technique. So in the middle, in the center, in the middle of the deco mesh, I will take my fingers and I'll start pulling it and making it come through and, and I'm holding it as I'm pulling it. And then I get a ruffle. Isn't that cute? And this is a lot thicker and um, it makes it a lot fuller. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to attach it to the, to the, to the bottom. Um, I'm gonna put the yellow in first and I stick it in the middle and then the next color is the black. And I do the center again, I ruffle it up, and it gets faster as I, um, as I do it. And uh, with, my, with my first one, with my yellow one, I did it up and down. So with this one, I'm going to turn it sideways. So I make the ruffles go back and forth um, so they're not all facing the same way. So I, I twist it one time, because I still have the brown to put in. So then I take the brown, ruffle it. This is a thicker uh, burlap than I'm used to. Um, it's a different texture, and it is kind of hard to hold that together. But I have to hold on to it, I can't let it go. And I will um, attach that to there. Now what I usually do is I attach all the deco mesh around get the whole wreath done that way and then I work with the ribbon so let me get this started here and I, I usually just pull it around make it fan out make it look as pretty as possible and so uh, my next one I got about seven of these so while I'm doing this you all can talk to each other or you can talk to me I'll look at my iPad every now and then and I'll be able to see what you're saying um, so that um, I just go back and forth. So on my, on my last one I did, the, the brown is on top. So I'm gonna put the brown on the bottom this, this time on the next one. So, 
So, like I said, today has been a super busy day. Um, it's been full of shopping for supplies. Um, I've had some last minute uh, people contact me wanting things. And so I've been running around. I've been to Terre Haute. I went to Green Castle uh, to make a delivery. And um, did that. And then I've uh, been trying to get this set up for the uh, the live video. And how's everybody doing so far? Am I... Am I confusing you yet? <laughs> so, oh, this is this is fun for me to do. I uh, I love being in here and being able to create and just you know craft <laughs> a little bit. This is my craft. Uh, Amy has her her craft of making the cups and making everything look sparkly and but sometimes for the men they don't want the glitter they don't want the sparkle. But, you know, I was drinking out of uh, that new coffee cup Amy made, and my husband, mine is, um, my cup has glitter on it. And he looked at that cup, and he said, wow, I really, I really like that. <laughs> I said, you like the glitter? He said, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so, that's pretty, pretty cool that even a man sometimes likes the, uh, the glitter. Um, I'm trying not to block this so you could see what I'm doing. I put the black in and then I'm going to put the the brown and we'll put the yellow on top this time. I just go back and forth uh, with the colors. I try to keep in my mind um, like this I'll say black, brown, yellow. Yellow, brown, black. You know stuff like that back and forth so I'll know what I'm doing. So how's everybody doing? Um, I wanted to tell y'all something that Caleb and I are super excited about. Um, I think it starts tonight. It's the the Olympics. I love the Olympics. Anybody else a fan? Um, I like summer and winter. I it doesn't matter to me. I like them both. There's there's some favorite things I love about both. Um, well, I got about four more of these. Uh, my favorite thing for the Winter Olympics is the figure skating. Anybody else a fan of the figure skating? Hi, Pam. This is my bee-themed wreath, and it has already sold before it's even done. It's already sold. I, I was so happy about that. Um, I knew it wouldn't last long because uh, it's... Um, it's so big and so pretty, and I think it's perfect for spring, summer, fall. I think it could hang out, you know, pretty much all summer. It's so pretty. Yeah, I like the figure skating. Amy likes the figure skating. My mom likes the figure skating. Uh, Caleb, my son, he loves the, um, the bobsled. He likes watching them go fast down that, on that bobsled. That's his favorite part. And uh, he, uh, he's as big a fan as I am. He he loves watching that stuff. Um, we even have a um, on our TV on the dish. There's even a um, Olympic channel. But during the Olympics, they're not showing the Olympics. They're showing the ones from like 1988. <laughs> showing Calgary and stuff like that Olympics um, there are on this wreath um, there are 17 different spots um, that I have to put the mesh in so I have to do this uh, 17 different times so <laughs> it um, for me it doesn't seem like it takes very long to do uh, but everything's a process. Um, I end up, you know, I first cut the the, the uh, deco mesh or the ribbon. I'll get that cut ahead of time. I have to do 17 of each one. And then I'll do the, um, the ribbon, 17 of each one. And then on the ribbon, I always do that uh, dovetail cut. 
of the on the ends and that just makes it look extra pretty so um, let me show you here we got a couple more and when I um, that's a good question Amy decide what ribbon um, my first inspiration when I look at something for a wreath is this sign so I found the sign and then once I find the sign I um, decided I saw the B on the sign so I thought well I have to have a B type ribbon so I found some ribbon that had a B on it and I was very pleased that the B matched exactly the B on the sign it was a perfect match and then um, after I found the B, I wanted, I thought, well, I'm gonna have a lot of yellow in the wreath. So, and so I decided I wanted to do, um, instead of yellow, I wanted to do black. Uh, so I did the big black polka dots. I thought the big black ones make it stand out and make it look pretty. So we're on my last one. Got the last one here to attach it to. And let me see what y'all got going on. Donna, you like the, the luge and the bobsled. The bobsled. Yeah, those are those are fun to watch. So as you come on, um, go ahead and tell us where you're from, what you're doing. Um, it's it's nice to see um, where all our viewers are coming from. Um, and also, if you uh, see that share button at the bottom of your page. Uh, go ahead and share this video and it will be on your news feed uh, when you go back you can see it um, I don't know if anybody's looking to try to make their own wreaths or you just want to see me make one and buy them for me but um, this wreath has already sold and it hasn't even been made yet <laughs> so this is a this is a fun wreath I really love make it I, it's been fun I've already done some of it already Okay, so we got all the, um, wow, look how tall, can you see how big this is? <laughs> this is a big, this is a big wreath. <laughs> now, uh, this will not fit between a uh, screen door. <laughs> but, um, okay, so you see I have uh, the ribbon here. So the next one I'm going to put ribbon. So I'm going to start with that. I, uh, I take my ribbon after I cut it, and I find, I just, guess where the middle is and I bunch it up like squeeze it in the middle so when I squeeze it that's where the tie is going to twist around it and so um, there is a there is a process I go through when I'm attaching the ribbon um, you see this this polka dot ribbon here is going up and down so on the next one I'm going to put the polka dot ribbon sideways so I like to be I like it to be a little bit different. Um, one's up and down, and one goes sideways, and uh, that just kind of helps make it more uh, flow be flow better, and um, have some fun qualities about it, and um, it just makes it I think look more attractive. So I twist it after I've added all three ribbons. This this wreath has three different types of ribbon. And I'll twist it about four times and get it on there good. And um, then I have, let's start with the next one. So since I went, um, since I went up and down on that last one, I'm gonna go find the next one. It's hard to find, it's so full. Okay, and then I'll go um, sideways. I'll go to the side, sideways on that one. And, um, then the, the other two go on top. I usually like to do a bigger ribbon. Um, I think the big one is the two and a half inch, and then this one here is like the one and a half. Um, that also helps too, to uh, have two or three different sizes of ribbon. Um, that helps make the, uh, make the wreath look more attractive. You like it already, Mom? <laughs> so we got a few more to do. And then, then the fun part comes, I get to um, attach the sign. Um, I love 
putting a sign on a wreath. And since I went sideways, I went sideways on that one, I'm gonna go up and down. And um, signs always make a wreath look better, I think. Um, they actually look, you know, they look pretty without a sign. Uh, but when you add a sign, I think that just adds some character to it. Um, and it makes it look finished. Um, now, um, have you all seen my purple wreath? My purple one, um, it's been real popular. And um, no, Donna, I, um, I, I cut these wreaths myself. Um, I have this mat here, this lovely mat. My, my husband bought me this for Christmas. And um, my ribbon will come in a roll like this and I will measure. I'll measure and cut. So I do that 17 times. Um, this size wreath has 17 um, spots. So I usually, um, after I've attached the deco mesh, I unwind it and then put the ribbon in. Um, I don't set the ribbon on top of the twist already. I undo it. And I think that helps the ribbon stay in there better, helps it stay closer to the wreath. And then once I put all the ribbon in, I twist it. Okay, hi Casey, how are you? It's good to see you. Um, Hobby Lobby has a lot of ribbon. They have a wide selection of ribbon. And if I can get it at Hobby Lobby, I will get it there. Um, if not, this ribbon, this polka dotted ribbon, and the B ribbon, I had to order online. And also, um, I had to order the yellow, this yellow um, deco mesh. I had to order that. Um, but the website I use, um, they have a wide selection. And um, they ship to me so much now that I get my shipments <laughs> within two to three days. So, I think they, they know my my name when it comes across the orders. <laughs> uh, so I got uh, two more of these to do, and then we'll do the fun part. I think the fun part, I love doing the ribbon, um, and then the fun part is making the, uh, getting the sign attached, and that makes it stand out better. Um, I like adding sometimes just a, a, an initial, um, an initial to a sign is cute. Um, I don't know if you can see that tulip wreath behind me. I don't know if it's showing on, on there or not. Um, I did add an initial to that, but then my initial broke. <laughs> so I couldn't add the initial to it. Um, but it definitely can have an initial put on it. Um, so I have one more polka dot of ribbon here. And um, there is a, a strategic way of attaching ribbon, attaching the deco mesh. Um, this deco mesh, I cut, um, I, I doubled it. I usually cut them 10 inches, and this time I cut them 20 inches. So uh, that made it, that makes it very full. Um, my customer is so sweet that I delivered to today. Uh, she, she said, um, I want that bee wreath. <laughs> I said, well, I'm making it tonight. <laughs> okay, so we got the wreath done. All right, so here it is. It's very, very full. Look how full that is. I would go up forward here. Look, look at that. I love it already. You guys like it? It's really, really full. Okay, now we're gonna attach the sign. So I got this uh, this welcome sign. Let me come up closer here so you can see it. I got this welcome sign with the B. I love, love this sign. It's so cute. And this B is adorable. So we have a, have a cute B here for summer. Y'all like this? <laughs> This is cute. Okay, so when I decide to attach a sign, um, I look at my wreath on the top and I figure out, you know, where would be a good place to put it. So, I think right here would be a good place. 
Now, I uh, this has a string already on it. So, hi, Stacy. Um, I got this sign um, at the website where I ordered the ribbon. Um, it was the same place. So, I ordered the sign from uh, Craft Outlet. And the ribbon I got at Craft Outlet. So, now when I attach the sign, I'm going to show you here how I do it. If I can put it up here so you can see it. Um, I just stick, I don't untie my twist. I just stick it on there. I think, go up one more. Just stick it on there. And there's one more thing after I attach the sign. There's one more thing I want to do to this wreath. So I take it and I just start weaving the, weaving the, um, the rope through the deco mesh. <laughs> oh, there's so much deco mesh in here. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. It is so full. So I will adjust it. Now this looks cute like this, but what I like to do is I'll hold the sign and I'll push. I like to, to push this deco mesh up around it. So, so kind of hide it in there. You see what I'm doing? I like to, um, to kind of hide it in there. And then once I push it through, then I'll adjust the ribbon. But I'll push it all through around the sign so it gets nice and snug in there. So how do you think you like that? I think that looks cute and it will stay on. It's attached already. So there's one more thing I want to do to this sign. I thought we got the bee over here, so I need something over here. So I thought I'm going to make a bow. So why not add another, another bow to this sign? So we did a bow making lesson. I did a bow making lesson. Um, one time before, but in case you missed it, I want to show you how to make a bow. Okay, let me get the sign in here real good, the way I like it. And fluff, fluff, fluff. That's what this whole wreath is about, fluff. Fluff, fluff, fluff. <laughs> and this, uh, this ribbon, I love it. It has wire in it, so it will bend. It will go the way I want it to go. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna sit this sign down, or the wreath, I'm gonna sit the wreath down, and I'm gonna show you how I make a bow. And then we'll add it, and we'll see how it looks. And then we will be done. And I have one little thing I wanna show you that I'm excited about. I got a shipment today of, of new items, so I'm super excited. Okay, so let me sit this wreath out of the way. Get it out of the way for a minute. Now I had some extra ribbon. I had extra bee ribbon. And then I had um, some extra black polka dotted ribbon. So what I usually do, I'll put the ribbon side by side. And I lay the, the little, I like to do a little one and a big one. So I'll lay it on top of each other. And then I love this board because I can measure. Um, I want a tail on it, but I don't want a real big tail. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I pinch it like it's seven inches, and then I want ten inch loops. So I will grab it at ten inches, and then I don't know why, but I love the number of completion in the Bible. <laughs> so number seven. So I will do this seven times. I want seven. I want to have seven loops. So every time I measure 10 inches, I will pinch it, and I will bend it, and I will pinch it between my fingers. If everybody can see that, let me know if you can see what I'm doing. I hope it's uh, self-explanatory here. I'll pinch it, and I bend it. Now, after a while, just the finger and the thumb is getting to be too much, so I will, I will grab it with my whole hand, my fingers, both my, all my fingers. Okay, so we got four, five. Let's do two more. Six. 
Okay, one more. I'm glad you all joined me tonight for my live video. Okay, so I have my tail. I have my tail here, and I want my other tail to match. So I will cut it at the same place. I'll cut it. And what I failed to do, uh, let me grab a, I like to use a pipe cleaner or twist tie. Let me grab one more real quick. I'll come across the camera here. I got my bag over here, or my, here we go. Found a gold pipe cleaner. Okay, so I will put that in the middle. Put that in the middle of my bow. And then I will take it and I will twist it as tight as I can. And then I'm twisting the whole, the whole bow, twisting it all. Okay. Then I got my tails here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and take those and I'm going to do that, that chevron cut that I love. Do it right there. Do it right there. Everybody. Everybody following me? <laughs> Hopefully I'm not confusing you. <laughs> um, after a while, uh, it, this is second nature, so I just zoom right along. Okay, then I'm gonna take this apart. Each one I did the, the B and the polka dotted. Take it apart, take it apart, take it apart. Take it apart. I do this. I got seven loops, so I'm going to do it seven different times here. Makes it more attractive. Isn't that a cute bow? Oh, I love it. It's turning out so cute. I just, I love the polka dots. My mom can tell you when I was a teenager, I loved everything polka dotted. Polka dots were my thing. I loved polka dots, didn't I, mom? <laughs> My dresses were polka dot, my bedroom was polka dot, everything is polka dot. Okay. All right, you like that? Thank you, Amy. All right, it's becoming, it's coming together. Oh, look, look, there it is. That's it. I did it. <laughs> okay. Now I want to attach that to that wreath. All right, so I thought we got the bee over here. I don't want to put a bow over here. So, I usually take the, um, I've got the uh, zip ties here in the underneath, or I mean the, the pipe cleaner under here. So I will take it, and I am going to find that twist tie that I attached the wreath to, and I'm gonna go all the way down, if I can. <laughs> Underneath that, I got it. I'm going way down. Okay. So I'm going to attach that. We got extra ribbon underneath it. Oh my goodness. This is, this is adorable. It's turning out so good. Hopefully my customer will love it as much as I do. Okay. Now I'm going to take the, uh, Oh wow, this is turning out so great. Okay, I may need to bring this sign up a little bit so you can see it, but this is turning out so great. I'll lift it up real quick here, let you guys see, and then you can tell me what you think of it. And then I'm gonna give you the price. I'm gonna give you how much this wreath is. And you tell me, if you think a customer would pay that much for it. Okay, um, I take also this ribbon, It's I take it under my fingers and I bend it. It has wire in it, so I like to twirl it. I like to bend the, bend the ribbon, okay? Oh, got ribbon back here, okay. All right, we're almost ready to reveal. <laughs> okay, hi Amanda. All right, if you caught the end of it, at the end you can uh, rewind it and go to our page and you can watch it from the beginning. 
didn't take too long. So what's everybody think? Look at that bow. Isn't that cute? I love it. I love the bow. Maybe I need to order extra ribbon next time and put bows all over it. <laughs> I could put bows down here. <laughs> okay, so this is the finished product. It is the full wreath. It is so full. You guys love it? Well, my customer's going to love it, I think. She already said that she knows it's going to look great, so she just, she wants this bee wreath. Now, I know where I got all this stuff, all the supplies. I'm going to post this on Etsy. I'm also going to post it on our page. And I am going to um, make more. If you, if, any, if you know anybody that wants this uh, for summer or that loves bees, um, I'm going to make this again if anybody wants it. Um, I will take a picture of it, you know, uh, finished and it looks really great. <laughs> I'm really happy. <laughs> oh, you know, you never know how something's going to turn out. Um, <laughs> and, uh, I was a little nervous, <laughs> but it looks great. Okay. This wreath is going to be $58, $58 for this wreath. It has three types of deco mesh, poly, uh, burlap ribbon. It has three different types of ribbon. It has a sign and it has a bow. And I took all the deco mesh and cut it twice as long. So it's got more, more material in it than normal. My normal wreaths, my purple wreaths, do not have this much in it. And I sell my purple wreaths for $58. So, I'm going to sell this for $58. You guys like it? Thank you, Donna. Um, so, this is going to be on my Etsy page, on our Etsy page. It's going to be on Lady J's. Um, if you know somebody, I think this would be such a cute uh, spring gift, uh, Mother's Day gift. I think it would be great. Um, okay, I want to show you one more thing before I get off. So don't forget, this one's going to be $58. $58, and it is as full as could be. Um, let me see if I can take this. Can you guys see this? Um, there's my spring tulip wreath. Let me sit this back here. I want to show you one more thing before I get off. I'll hang this. Can you see this? Let's see if you can see this. Standing up on the on the stand here. Okay, you stand it up there. All right. So just like I did the um, the bee wreath. Look what I got here, you guys. Let me come around closer. Look what I found. It's a ladybug. Just like the bee sign, but this is a ladybug. I'm going to make a ladybug wreath, just like the bee wreath. And look at this ribbon, y'all. Look at this ribbon. I'm a ribbon nut. <laughs> look at this. I've got ladybugs and the polka dots and the red, the black and white polka dots and the red. This is going to be so cute. Look at this together. Isn't that cute? I love it. You guys like it? Oh, you think you'll need this one, Amy? <laughs> I, I love it. Um, I'm thinking of doing the same technique um, as I did with the bee. I hope you can see that. Let me grab it here. Show it to you up close. So this one is the bee. And then I'm going to do the ladybug. Isn't that cute? There's the bow up close. Isn't that cute? Oh, I think my customer is going to love it. I think it's going to be great. So, I can't wait to get started on the ladybug. Isn't the ladybug going to be cute? Let me show you one more time. Got this. Yay! Love it. 
Love the hearts. <laughs> okay. Well, um, thank you all for joining us. I'm extra thirsty after talking so much. <laughs> Look at this cup, how it shimmers and shines. Isn't that pretty? These are also on Lady J's. They do a great job. Amy does, she does a great job um, layering these with the different colors and stuff. And that has my name on it. I love it. Okay. Well, thank you all for joining me. Um, I will be back on Tuesday. Tuesday at 6 o'clock. I will be back on. And I want to show you how I do um, table boxes. I have a table box order. Um that I, I need to do so I want to show you how I distress it um, it's already been stained it's already been made and stained uh, but I'm gonna show you how I distress it um, this this order for this table box uh, she wants it more of a primitive look with burlap and things so I'm gonna be adding some stuff to it so join me next Tuesday and we will show you how to do a table box or how I do it and um, we'll get that going so I hope you all have a blessed night and the Olympics comes on, I think, tonight. And tomorrow night's the opening ceremony. So I'm excited. I don't know what they're going to be showing tonight uh, for the Olympics, but it starts tonight. So, okay. Well, y'all, thank, thank you for joining me. And I will see you all at the next time. So have a blessed night. Bye.